Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So wherever you are, I hope happy day for you. Today I am here to just give you a simple tip. So Microsoft will be releasing latest features or new improvements to our Azure DevOps platform. So how we will get use of them, how we will capture them, how we will come to know. Okay, so generally what happens, any things that comes as a new feature, I already told you how can you enable new features. So go to your organization page. In the right side corner, okay, in the right side corner, you will see before your username, you will see a settings button. Inside the settings button, you will see preview features. So this is one area where you will understand what are all the features that Microsoft is releasing. And if you want to use those features, you can turn on them. But before turning on these features, I want you to understand how these features are getting released. Okay, how you will know. If, whenever you want to enable these features so before enabling you might think that okay I want to read about this feature so what this feature gives to me so for that I just want you to keep an eye on your organization homepage so if you are already working in any organization the moment you log in it will take you to the project page only for suppose if I am working on any AKS project and I log in in my organization obviously it will take me to the project homepage only but if you want to know or if you want to read about these features First, you need to go to your organization homepage and look at the right side, sorry, left side bottom corner. You will see some notification. It's kind of notification. Sprint to 224, what's new? So this is the area where Microsoft will tell you we are done with Sprint 224, okay, 224. We are done with Sprint 224 and we have released these features into the market and these features are already available for you. You can enable them in your platform itself, okay? You can enable them. These are like released guys, deployment. I mean, they are already into the market, general available, GA. You might see these kind of words, deployed, released, general available, these kind of things from Microsoft. So what is new in 224? When you see Sprint 224 notification here, that means they are done with their Sprint 224 and they are working on Sprint 225 or Sprint 226. Okay, I will tell you what is the Sprints. If you are already aware, you know, if you are following my videos, you are already aware of what is Sprints. Okay, any team who are working on Agile methodology, who are using Agile methodology, they work in Sprints. Anything that they want to develop new or they want to get upgraded their application or they want to add some new features or improve their performance, they will plan some work and the work will be delivered to the market or delivered to the clients or users in sprints only. So sprint one, these are the features, sprint two, these are the features. That's the way they deliver their work. The same way, the core development team of Azure DevOps in Microsoft, they are working in sprints only. So now they are done with sprint 224 and they release something. So what is in sprint 24? Let's click on this. Okay, in sprint, sprint, two, sorry, sprint 224, they released some new features for boards, pipelines and repos. I want you to spend time on this guys. I want you to spend time on this because this is the area where you will come to know what are all the new features that are coming to your Azure DevOps platform. As a Azure DevOps engineer, everyone need to spend time on this and you need to read every line of this page, every line. Then only you will get the use of new features. Then only you will enjoy, okay, Azure DevOps improved something. Azure DevOps got some new feature. Okay, today I am going to take some example from this. I told you, right, Sprint 224, it was already done on July 11th only. So I can see now August 2 Sprint also. This might be Sprint 225 release. Okay, see here, Sprint 225. Okay, but, but they have given notification for Sprint 224 only to the Azure DevOps platform. Maybe after a couple of days, you might see Sprint 225 update as well here. But for now, they have given Sprint 224 update only. So now if I go to Sprint 224 release, so in Azure boards, they have given copy link to work item. Okay, let's try. If I go to this project, okay, if I go to boards, I have work items. And if I click on this, there is no copy link option. There is no copy link option. Because if I see this image and directly check that feature, you will not see. So read properly. So copy link has been added to the context menus on the work item form, backlog and the task backlog. Okay, now I will open this work item. This is the context menu of the work item. If I click on this here also, I am not able to see the copy link option. Okay, even I am going to backlogs and I am seeing here, I am not able to see. See, this is the menu they are showing in the image. 
but i am not able to see copy as html after this there is they are showing copy link but i am not able to see that this is copy uh, if i open some other feature okay, okay. there is nothing like that and, and and let me open this work item and here also if i see there is nothing like that okay there is nothing like that so now how i can see this how now i can see this what they are saying see this is the note this feature will only be available with new boards hubs preview now let's go back to the organization okay let's go back to the organization i told you right the features so here in these features you will see new boards hubs feature see this is not enabled in my account now if i enable this okay if i enable this just i enabled it close this it's already refreshed guys it's already refreshed but to make it advance i'm i'm making it i'm making it so advanced so if i open this if i open this and go to boards i enable it right now if i click on this okay now if i click on this okay now if i click on this see copy link came copy link came you are clear right so now it click copy link okay and if i go to this work item inside this work item and if i click on this context menu here also copy link came okay here also copy link came so this is how you will understand the latest features that are released by microsoft as part of sprints and you get the benefit of them so i want you to spend time on these features and read every line of this page and get the latest benefits that microsoft is releasing for you so in this video i am just showing you the update of azure boards only but you can go through azure pipelines what the update they are giving and then you can go through azure repos as well so whatever features that you want to use just read everything from this page and enable the requested features the required features and enjoy guys okay thank you i hope this tip helps everyone bye guys